Hi student, this is the part 9, Molecular Basis of Inheritance. In last session, I have discussed about properties of genetic material. That means, what are the basic features of genetic materials like replication, stability, adaptability, expressivity and ubiquity. These are the five basic features of genetic material and these five features can be expressed by both DNA and RNA. But out of these two genetic material, DNA is a best genetic material or better genetic material than RNA. Okay, these are the topics and I will also discuss about what is the difference between DNA and RNA in last session. Okay, in today's class, I will discuss basic phenomena or basic characteristics of molecular basis of inheritance. That means how the molecules have expressed their characteristics in living organisms. Okay, that can be studied in today's class. I already told that central dogma and gene or gene expression that means DNA they will act as a genetic material but it express their characters whatever the material genetic information they can store in DNA they have expressed as a character in the form of RNA then RNA is directly code for proteins proteins they express their characters but the stage of DNA, DNA have shows self-replication, self-replication. This is the basic phenomenon of gene expression or molecular basis of expression of characteristics. When the DNA they have produced RNA or they have convert the or transfer the information whatever they present in DNA into RNA the process is called transcription and RNA is a directly code for protein through translation process. Translation, transcription, replication these are the three basic event occurred in molecular basis of inheritance okay in today's class i'll discuss about the first event replication okay coming to the replication dna replication it's one of the very very important topic okay dna replication first what is the meaning of replication? The replication is nothing but a create an exact copies of something. Okay. Or, or also says that replication is nothing but a duplication. Duplication. Duplication is nothing but a Xarax. Okay. Replication is nothing but a how create an exact copies of something is called as a replication or duplication. But what do you mean by DNA replication? DNA how create copies exact their own copies is called as a DNA replication like this. The DNA, the DNA have produced their exact Xerox copies is called as replication okay now we are going through important documents like mass cards or any copies okay it will create then duplicate copies through Zarax machine as it is same DNA have create their extra exact copies is called as replication DNA replication Next, why the DNA replication will be essential? Why DNA have created their extra copies? What is their essentiality? DNA replication must and should essential for transfer the genetic material from one generation to another generation. That means in their reproduction, they have couples have produced or give birth to their young ones. Okay, parents have produced young ones 
through reproduction in that reproduction the genetic material will transfer from both the parents to their young ones and the parents have create an extra copies of genetic material like dna to transfer to our children and dna replication is essential for all living organism and another one thing all living organism they have shows growth growth means increase the size or mass how the size and mass will increases through cell division through cell division cell division means a parental cell undergo division to produce two daughter cell is called as cell division in the daughter cell the both the cells are exactly similar to their parental cell that means both all cell organelles nucleus and genetic material hence the parental cell before undergoing to the cell division it will create all extra copies of their cell organelles like mitochondria nucleus cytoplasmal content along with genetic material okay hence dna replication is essential event for all living organism to create an extra copies of genetic material okay during cell division you already know about the cell division in previous year okay cell division is also called as cell cycle in that cycle there happens the two events one is cell cycle look at the cell cycle cell cycle occurs in two events one is high phase high phase another one is m phase i phase means interphase m phase means mitotic phase in i phase they have the further three sub event sub events g one phase s phase g two phase nothing but a gap one phase s means synthesis phase gap two phase okay this interface is nothing but nothing but a the phase prior to the cell division that means in that interface the cell is preparing for cell division and in s phase the cell it synthesis their all genetic material through replication process that means it produce double amount of dna through replication process for their cell division hence dna replication occurred during the time of s phase or synthesis phase of cell cycle in that stage the dna replication will occur dna replication will takes place during the s phase of the cell cycle then after replication the dna content will be double the double dna content is equally divides into two daughter cell okay it is the essentiality and way on what time the replication will occur okay is the dna replication dna replication is nothing but a exact copy of dna is made and replication occurred during the s phase of the interphase during cell cycle then in each strand of dna old specific information to create another strand in the base pairing pattern okay next i will go for how the dna will replicate it okay in which pattern or in which criteria the dna will be double or it create their own copies so many biologists or scientists have proposed so many hypotheses for related to dna replication okay these are discussed in the topic first hypothesis is semi conservative type of dna replication semi conservative semi conservative type of dna replication that means semi means small or off conservative means to store or conserve or protect 
semi conservative type of dna replication means if it is a parental dna just imagine is the parental dna they are write in a blue color for your identification parental dna in semi conservative type dna has to be double strand they have considered two polynucleotide chain or two strands both the two strand they will act as a template the two strand will act as a template template means template is nothing but a original copy original copy is called as template in semi conservative type both the strand they will act as a template and the template strand have produced a newly synthesized dna newly synthesized dna look at the semi conservative in their daughter dna one strand will be parental one another one will be newly synthesized dna it is the newly formed dna newly formed dna is called as semi conservative that means half of the dns dna can will be parental half will be newly formed dna and they call semi conservative half will be conserved the parental dna will be conserved remaining half will be newly synthesized and the name indicate semi conservative type it is a one of the way of dna replication one of the way of replication next move on to the second hypothesis second hypothesis is conservative replication conservative replication what do you mean by conservative it is semi conservative second one is conservative that means it is a parental dna in parental dna complete dna will act as a template complete dna act as a template and produce another one newly formed dna this is the parental dna it produce one complete newly formed dna is called as conservative it is the parental dna it is the newly formed dna okay the complete dna will be conserved and produce newly one dna is called as conservative type of replication okay it is the conservative in semi conservative half will be parent half will be newly synthesized dna but in conservative one strand one dna is complete parental another one dna will newly synthesized okay last one look at the last one disruptive are also called dispersive dna dispersive type of dna replication in dispersive just imagine it is a parental dna that parental dna is small small patches they will act as a template small small patches they will act as a template hence each strand have conceived a small patch will be old dna and small patch will be newly formed dna like this okay is called as dispersive dna okay like this is called as dispersive dna okay small patch will be older dna small patch will be newly synthesized dna is called as dispersive these are the five sorry three types of or three ways of dna replication these are only hypothesis 
okay that means so many scientists have think that dna will replicated will be in three ways semi conservative conservative or dispersive okay out of three only in one way or only in one of the way the dna will be replicated either semi conservative or conservative or dispersive but based on the replication three hypothesis will be there semi conservative means in each dna one strand will be parental one strand will be newly formed conservative one dna is complete parental one dna is completely for newly formed in dispersive in each dna small small patches will be older one small patches will be newly synthesized these are the three way of dna replication hypothesis okay look at the picture how the semi conservative replication conservative and dispersed to replication will occur okay the picture represent the same diagrams okay next in out of three ways which one is which way the dna will replicate okay that can be proposed by watson and crick you already know about the name watson and crick have proposed the double helical model of dna the same scientist have proposed the dna replication that means dna is replicated by semi conservative model semi conservative model watson and crick in 1953 have proposed the semi conservative model of dna that means dna is replicated through semi conservative method that means in the replication in each dna one strand will be old dna one strand will be newly synthesized dna and in the double stranded dna each strand they will act as a template template means is a original copy for newly synthesized dna and based on their complementary base sequence the template dna have produced newly synthesized dna like this just imagine is the new parental dna in parental dna both the strand they will act as a template they have produced newly or newly produced dna strand based on their complementary base sequence that means just imagine the parental dna have conceived base sequence like guanine cytosine adenine thymine guanine but the newly synthesized dna they have produced complementary base sequence like when in parental dna guanine is present in newly synthesized dna base sequence base pairing of guanine pair with the cytosine with three hydrogen bond then cytosine pair with the guanine with two hydrogen bond adenine pair with the thymine with two hydrogen bond thymine pair with the adenine with two hydrogen bond guanine pair with the cytosine with three hydrogen bond like this these are called as complementary base sequence based on the that criteria the template strand have produced new dna strand overall in semi conservative method the new dna molecule one will be parental one one will be newly synthesized dna a newly formed dna is called as semi conservative method that means a small amount of parental dna will be conserved okay it proposed by watson and crick in 1953 next that semi conservative mode of replication it was experimentally proved by meselson and stahl experiment okay a scientist meselson and stahl have experimentally proved the semi conservative method of dna replication okay who 
Matthew Meselson and Franklin Stahl in 1958 have proved the DNA is replication occurred through semi-conservative method with experimental proof. Okay, they have experiment conducted with the E. coli bacteria, Escherichia coli bacteria, by using Escherichia coli bacteria and proved DNA replication occurred through semi-conservative nature. Okay, next I have discussed about Meselson and Stahl experiment. Meselson and Stahl first have prepared two cultured media for growth the Asterichia coli bacteria. Two cultured media. One is one cultured media. Just imagine is of the one cultured media for growing the E. coli bacteria. That cultured media have conceived 15 ammonium chloride salts 15 represent is a n15 is nothing but a heavy isotopes 15 represent the atomic mass is a n15 represent heavy isotopes heavy isotopes that means the molecular weight will be heavy n15 ab isotope it is a one culture media for growing the e coli bacteria next another one cultured media used to culture the e coli bacteria is n14 media same ammonium chloride n14 ammonium chloride n14 means is a light isotope compared to this one it is the light isotope light isotope these are the two media used by Michelson and Stahl for semi-conservative replication method equally bacteria they can grow in two culture media one is N15 AV isotope media another one is N14 light isotope media why Michelson and Stahl used these N15 and N14 isotope media because nitrogen is one of the major source in DNA. And DNA is made up by nitrogen bases. Hence, when the E. coli bacteria grown in N15 media, in that E. coli bacteria, the newly formed DNA is a heavy isotopes newly formed DNA with the heavy isotope as it is the E. coli bacteria grown in N14 media that newly formed DNA with a light isotopes okay this is the difference between N14 and N15 how to find out the heavy isotope DNA and light isotope DNA okay and now find out the heavy and light isotope DNA through centrifugation process which process centrifugation centrifugation means is a method how separate the molecules based on their density to method separate the molecule based on their density in a solution that means they have rotate in a several thousand speed in a common axis in that process the molecule will segregate based on their density in that experiment they have also done the centrifugation of the E. coli bacteria grown in a 15 or 14 nitrogen media okay with cesium chloride CaCl that means cesium chloride that cesium chloride it helps to separate the dna molecules based on their density like just imagine is a centrifugation tube when you have used the media like n15 media the dna will be settled at almost bottom region this is the n15 DNA 
बिकॉज इज अ हेवी आइसोट्रोप मॉलिकुलर वेट विल बी हाई एंड दे हैव सेटल्ड ऑलमोस्ट एट द बॉटम रीजन एज इट इज सेम इन एन फोर्टीन डी एन ए हैव सेंट्रीफ्यूग विथ सीजियम क्लोराइड द डी एन ए इज डेपोजिटेड ऑलमोस्ट एट द टॉप of the test tube like in that region in the n14 okay in that method i have find out the ab isotopic dna and light isotopic dna through centrifugation process these are the preparation of experiment that means first i have selected two cultured media one is n15 ab isotope other one is n14 light isotope then the dna can be find out through centrifugation process with cesium chloride okay these are the preparation of experiment next i move on to the experiment how they conduct the experiment first meselson and stall have selected e coli bacteria and grown in yan 15 media okay first have grown yan 15 media just imagine this is the dna grown in yan 15 15 and heavy isotopic dna that means just imagine is the media they have conceits n15 okay it is the n15 dna is heavy isotopes when they have centrifugal in cesium chloride is the centrifugation tube the dna will deposited almost at the bottom region almost at the bottom region n15 it is the first step that means grow the e coli bacteria in a n15 media then have centrifuge the sample the dna will deposited at the bottom of the test tube because it will be heavy dna dna with 15 nitrogen heavy isotopes next that bacteria grown in a n15 media will directly transfer into n14 media okay transfer into n14 media what will be occur okay now the next the dna will be n15 av isotopic dna will transfer directly into n14 media bacteria will start replicate that means dna will start replicate in the replication process both the strand they will act as a template both the strand they will act as a template and the template strand have produce new another dna strand but in that media is n14 and the newly synthesized dna will be light isotopes n14 isotopes okay the blue color one will be n15 av isotopic dna the brown color one will be light isotopic dna okay and when have centrifuge that n14 media the media they obtain like this the centrifugation tube in out of two dna half will be n15 they have settled the bottom remaining half will be n14 they have settled at the middle and almost they have settled at the middle region like this middle region it called as n15 n14 
nothing but a hybrid dna it's called as hybrid dna another one thing e coli bacteria it complete their one replication will be in 20 minutes it takes 20 minutes for one replication okay when i have transfer the n15 medial bacteria into n14 media after 20 minutes they have produced hybrid dna next after 40 minutes another one replication will occur in the drip in both the two dna the two strands they will act as a template like this in this dna they will act as a template another one strand they will also act as a template in the dna also once both the strand they will act as a template these are all template strand produced from parental generation then as it is the bacteria present in a n14 medium hence all producing newly dna also lighter isotopes because the bacteria present in a n14 media okay it is the second generation it's the first generation it is the second generation after 40 minutes these types of dna will be obtained out of this dna 50 percent will be 50% will be completely N14 DNA. Remaining 50% will be N15 and N14. That means hybrid DNA. Hybrid DNA. When they have centrifuged that N14 sample, The observation like this 50 percent hybrid dna they have settled at the middle region this is the hybrid dna they have considered both n14 and n15 but remaining 50 percent n14 lighter dna deposited at the upper region of the test tube this is the n14 this is the hybrid N14, N15. 50% 50 will be hybrid, 50% will be light DNA obtained in third generation, second generation after 40 minutes. As we have continued that experiment like this way, in six, after 60 minutes, continue the same media, N14 media after 60 minutes. 25% will be hybrid, 75% will be light DNA after 60 minutes. As it is seen, after 80 minutes, the parental stand percentage will be reduced like 12.5% hybrid 70 not 70 87.5% will be light DNA the data says that when the generation will continue the parental DNA will be conserved but in lesser amount it should not be destroyed the two strands of parental dna will present in each and every generation but the percentage will be reduced and they called as semi conservative method okay in first generation the 100 percent dna will be higher and that means heavy dna n15 but in first generation, after the first replication, 100% all DNA will be hybrid. In second generation, 
50% will be hybrid 50% will be hybrid 50% will be light in third generation after 60 minutes 25% hybrid 75% light the last 12.5% hybrid 87.5% light after 80 minutes okay these like the parental stand will be conserved but the percentage will be reduced it's called as semi conservative method in that experiment Mitchelson and Stahl have proved DNA will be semi conservative DNA will be semi conservative method this is the first generation the second generation okay overall the experiment concluded in that diagram okay look at the first diagram n15 dna in the centrifugation tube they have settled at the bottom completely heavy dna but in first generation after 20 minutes that n14 dna will transport into n14 media the uh, both the stand will be hybrid one stand will n14 one stand will be n15 and they call hybrid they have settled at the middle of centrifugation tube then in second generation after 40 minutes in the same n14 media 50 percent of dna will be hybrid 50 percent dna will be lighter dna okay and the DNA replication is called as semi conservative. The parental stand will not destroy it, it will be conserved in each and every generation. Okay, student, I hope all of you understand the concept of semi conservative method of DNA replication and Mitchelson and Stahl experiment. It is one of the important experiments for your annual examination. Okay, they will also explain the experiment with label diagram. Label diagram. Okay, thank you, student.